Good evening, my friends. It's day 56 of the 90 day challenge. Just got back from an absolutely punishing leg workout, starting with a spin class to warm up, 45 minutes of hardcore uphill cycling. Uh, and then I did leg press, I did weighted um, lunges, and I did some deadlifts. And on all the weights, I went up at least 10% on my previous workout, having just gunned it up the hill in the spin. Uh, but today, guys, I've got a confession to make. So on day 50, I said that I was going to abstain from alcohol and caffeine for the remainder of the challenge leading up to Tough Mudder competition as well, uh, which is coming up now in four weeks. Uh, but regrettably, stupidly, last night I, uh, I went out and I had a few drinks. Um, so this morning I woke up with not only a hangover but extreme guilt. Uh, and I'll tell you something, um, when I put it out to the world like I'm making a commitment and I, and I, and I stuff up like that, you know, the hangover is nothing. Actually, what really uh, upset me was the fact that I, I let myself do that, you know, in terms of let the self-control go, wasn't disciplined enough. There was no pressure from any of my friends or my peers who I was out with. It was purely uh, a poor choice. Um, but uh, I just wanted to put it out there uh, because it's not about dropping the ball. You know, yesterday I dropped the ball. So now for me, it's all about how quickly can I pick that ball back up and bounce back because... You know, it was really important that, you know, I made this public declaration, you know, especially as a leader in this business, so I need to stand up and be counted um, to inspire others to take their 90-day challenge. Uh, but, you know, we're all human, we make mistakes, and uh, I made a mistake yesterday. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, for some people, uh, you know, they will hide their mistakes, but it actually takes more strength, I think, to come out and say, look, hold my hands up, stuffed up big time. Um, so I looked at it this morning, feeling, I felt terrible, you know, I had a headache. But I really, I felt really destroyed that I had uh, let myself down. Um, but so I look for the good. You know, I always look for the good in a situation when you're upset. You know, what is the good that can come from this? And, and something that is going to come from this is pure leverage. You know, now, you know, that frustration uh, that I let myself down is just now going to smash me forward. And I'm definitely going to drive this, this challenge home now over the next uh, 24, how many days left? 34 days, 34 days left to get to that 10% body fat. You know, so that lever is down now. You know, I've let myself down. I've let the people down who are watching me. Uh, but I'm picking myself up now. I'm picking that ball right up. Public declaration, that ain't going to happen again. I'm staying strong now to the end. Appreciate your support. You know, I had a great call from, from, a, from a fellow challenger, actually. Just happened to be on the phone. You know, I said to him, Josh, if you're watching, hi. Uh, you know, let myself down. You know, I know people are watching this. Uh, but I'm back. I'm going to fight back. You know, today I, 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 had to, I really pushed it hard in that workout. You know, I sweated out every little toxin. I went for a run earlier on today as well, really pushing it forward. Um, but it ain't happening again, guys. But my message is, you know, if you do drop the ball, you know, if you, those of you who are on the challenge to lose weight, you know, if you have a cheat, an extra cheat day, don't, kick, don't beat yourself up about it. Look, look for the good. You know, use it as leverage and, and push forward. So I hope you had a great bank holiday weekend. Back to business tomorrow. Challenge on. Rock and roll.